What's your name? Hi, I'm Denali Winter. What makes me queer... I feel like a lot of things make me queer. I feel like I've kind of always been queer, but that it's been constantly changing, you know? I identify as uh, gender fluid because I feel like I've never been in one static place with my identity. Um, I experiment with different, like, um, s sex, different uh, body mods, different all kinds of things. Um, I feel like part of being queer is um, just also a matter of respecting other people's genders, respecting other people's sexuality and identity, and understanding that everyone has a different kind of identity and that they are all valid. It's funny because I've always joked that like, I've always had one type or another of partner that I'm particularly attracted to. Um, but it changes over time. Like back when I was a teenager, I really liked pretty boys with long hair. That, um, you know, I, I really like girls like the people that I'm shooting with today. I really like, uh, I don't know, I like a lot of things. <laughs> I think that's probably also a good indicator that I'm pretty queer is that I can't make up my mind on which type of presentation, you know, I'm really into butch people, I'm really into femme people, I'm really into um, androgynous people, especially really into androgynous people, I think. Um, but I can't nail down a type of person that I do or don't like. I, you know, I find, and sex is the same way, I like all kinds of sex. I haven't encountered like a type of sex that I haven't been turned on by. Um, even things that kind of weirded me out at first, once I tried them, I realized I was really into it. So all of my sex is queer in some way. I hope to accomplish kind of, like, I know that I have a, not a, not a huge following or anything like that, but I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of people who watch me online on various social media things and they don't really quite understand queer and queer sex and what is that and is is it is it gay does that mean gay does queer what is what does queer exactly mean and i feel like doing queer porn will help people kind of find their own answers to that question i mean cuz there's there's no real definition for queer sex or queer porn like it's not like oh well it's too trans people doing this or it's too blah 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 like and you have to include this act or anything like that I mean it's also open-ended and um you know and it's it's feminist and it's empowering and I get to have sex with some really hot people and those are all really big pluses for me there's this uh photo set that I, I keep seeing online and it's it's very iconic and it just it stands out in my mind um, and maybe it's my, my inner dominatrix, because that's another alter ego I have, is my dominatrix work. Um, and it's of Dita de Von Teese, and she's walking down the street, and she's wearing, like, the, she's looking perfect, like she always does. And she, like, drops, I think she drops, like, her umbrella. And she's, like, walking down the street, and it's, like, crowds of people around her, and she drops her umbrella. And, like, kind of, the, in the next picture, she turns and looks, and there's, like, five men diving for the umbrella to try and, to try and be the one to hand it back to her. And I was like, oh my god, she has so much power, and she just, I was like, that woman has her shit together, and she knows what's up. I was just like, man, I'm, I want to be like that when I grow up. <laughs> I'm really, really into uh, makeup artistry and hair, obviously coloring is one of my specialties. Um, I really want to open like a queer salon someday. I have a couple of friends that may or may not be partners in that sometime. Uh, I, here in San Francisco I know we do have like a lot of gay friendly and queer friendly places but I want to have like a specific like kind of like queer safe space salon where people can come hang out and maybe it would be like a boutique too or something like that. Um, I don't know that's just one possibility for my future but those are those are pretty big passions of mine between my sex work and my hair and makeup work, I don't really do anything else with my life right now. Um, before the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic show became popular, I collected vintage My Little Ponies. Like, I have a bunch from, like, 
83 or 84 when they first came out. I have like some of the original ponies. Um, when I moved to San Francisco, I couldn't bring most of my collections with me because I knew I'd be living somewhere small. Uh, I think stockings, probably. Um, and by stockings, I mean tights and nylons that I cut the legs off of because as many people who have larger thighs or legs know, it's really hard to find actual stockings that don't like bisect your thigh. So um, I have a ton of stockings that I've saved up over the years. Um, also hair products, because I'm a hair product junkie. Um, yeah, I th eyeshadows. I think eyeshadows, I have, I have like 70 shades of glittery eyeshadow. <laughs> And they're all from this indie makeup company that I found online. So I'm like, it's cool, it's vegan, and it's a like single mom. So I'm just going to buy everything she has. <laughs> That's how I validate having 30 different shades of pink eyeshadow. It's just that like my life has been so deeply embedded in sex work in the last year and a half, two years, that it's hard to remember exactly how it was before. You know, I've, it, I have so much more self-confidence now. I've never been so confident in myself, you know, even uh, all through high school, um, college, like, I always thought that there was something about me that wasn't good enough. You know, I for a while I was getting perfect grades and I was in four AP classes a semester and I still felt like crap and battled with depression and all of this. And, um, like, I still have some of... Like, I still have some of my anxiety issues, but I, otherwise, I feel, like, really empowered. I feel really good about myself. Um, I don't have, like, the porn star body type that people think of when they think of porn stars. Um, but that just makes me even happier that I'm here where, like, doing what I'm doing. And because there should be more people, like, with all different types of looks and shapes and everything. Getting out there and showing people that anyone can be sexy. And, uh, uh, yeah, I guess the biggest thing has just been the self-confidence, you know, it's helped me make and keep better friends and make better choices. And, um, I also think very far ahead sometimes because when you're going to be putting your naked body on the internet, you really have to, you have to make sure that you don't, you're not ever going to go back to that dream of being a kindergarten teacher. So, <laughs> so I, you know, I've got a lot of, I do a lot of thinking ahead in that regard which is probably a good thing for someone my age to be doing.